citizen reporters are popping up and hitting the streets to verify whether or not what we're hearing about these hospitals is true. Approximately how many coronavirus patients have you seen? How many? You don't know? Two? A hundred? Three. You've seen three. So again, there are no lines of people. There is no mass chaos out here, contrary to what the mainstream media is telling you. How do you know they had coronavirus? Do you guys test in the ambulance? You don't know. You assume. Symptoms. Can you blame Americans for wanting to verify the truth when networks like CBS are doing things like this? Cases are being found right here. Crowded subway cars may have accelerated the spread. New York's governor says FEMA gave the state 400 ventilators. To that, he said this. What am I going to do with 400 ventilators when I need 30,000? So when you're watching this from CBS, the slant, you know, is the great need for the equipment. We don't have enough equipment. So the crowded ER shot demonstrates we, we have an epicenter of this disease in New York and we don't have enough. We need 30,000 ventilators. But the only problem is this footage has already run on Sky News on March 22nd talking about Italy. Yeah. This is the main hospital in Bergamo, in Lombardy province. It's one of the most advanced hospitals in Europe. But it's the most hard hit of all the hospitals. Once again this morning, the city's hospitals will be on the front lines in this war against the coronavirus. In Elmhurst, Queens, that hospital there, lines of people lining up already this morning for about the last 45 minutes. Confirmed cases, people waiting to get tested, supplies are in demand there. Somebody said there will be hordes of people inside, that's why I didn't go in. Let's see, the doctor with his mask on and everything. Look at that. Nobody. Completely empty. This is police, no EMS, nothing. Nothing, absolutely. Ghosts. That's all they got you afraid of ghosts. With the growing number of patients as supplies dwindled, you can see barricades behind us set up here outside of the hospital to keep order here because so many have been lining up every day to get tested. Where's the long lines of the people trying to get tested? I don't see that. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what it looks like here in New York City. The mayor, the governor says our hospitals have been turned into war zones. Well, I want to give you an idea of what that war zone looks like here in downtown Brooklyn. So this is my neighborhood. This is the Brooklyn Hospital Center. And uh, again, you're hearing one thing on the mainstream media, and this is what it's like in reality. This is where people normally stand up to get test testing for the coronavirus. But as you can see, not much happening. And this is a hospital that serves thousands and thousands of people here in downtown Brooklyn, New York. There are no lines of people. There is no mass chaos out here, contrary to what the mainstream media is telling you. Uh, here's those tents they had set up. This is what you saw in the news. At Elmhurst Hospital, lines of people outside wait to get tested. A refrigerated truck has now been brought in here, a makeshift morgue. Here's the refrigerated truck for the dead people, but no action. Ambulances have seen a surge in calls, responding to nearly 5,800 Thursday. All parked ambulances, no patients, nobody's rushing anywhere. In fact, we've got a couple of ambulances here waiting to be called into action. Here's some busy, crazy, busy guys. Yep, they're on their cell phone watching Netflix. 
And officials say this, unfortunately, is just the beginning with the crisis expected to last for months and the peak of it all still on the horizon. We are live in Elmhurst, Queens this morning. Rena Roy, CBS 2 News. Rena, thank you. Nothing, absolutely. Ghosts. That's all you think. Are you afraid of ghosts? Hello. What? Oh, no problem. Phyllis and William Mack Pavilion here on 7th Avenue. Um, oh, there's one guy in the waiting room. It's not too crazy. And uh, as you see, there's an emergency sign open 24 7. And new people. We control the disease by controlling the information. You can't protect the public by lying to them. It's done every day. Walk in healthcare clinics around the state say they've been overwhelmed by the demand for coronavirus testing, causing frustration. We were overwhelmed yesterday with the response to um, people wanting testing. Urgent Care Hawaii says his drive up service was deluged by requests for coronavirus tests, some waiting as long as four hours. Here's my question, guys. What's the game here? You're smart people. Why are they whipping us into a panic? Why are they lying about massive lines of people at testing centers? Night after night being told there are these long lines of people being managed at the urgent care, that they're being overwhelmed. Some waiting as long as four hours. Actually, the president or CEO of urgent care, while I was in front of the place, was telling me, we're doing the best we can managing these massive lines. I'm like, I'm here, lady. And there's no lines. As you can see, the ER, the hospital, is not overwhelmed. Where are all these sick people at for this quarantine? Hospital number two. The first one was Norton East in Louisville, Kentucky. And this one is Baptist East in Louisville, Kentucky. The first one had nobody waiting in the waiting area. Two nurses just sitting at the desk. The quarantine tent where they take the test was empty. People look at the testing centers. This is what they're telling you testing is going on in. Where's the testing? They're empty. They're abandoned people. There is no testing going on. Where's the testing? Where is it? The show that's getting put on for you. Leo and Coveney and Simon will be down out for the photo up soon and have loads of people with masks letting on to be coming in to get tested. Look, there we are. There is no bloody testing. Right down to the end, look. There is no testing going on in these tents. The quarantine tent where they take the test was empty. We're gonna see what this one's like. Let's go. As you can see, waiting area is empty. They were supposed to be here already waiting. In, it might be another hospital. Nobody's in there. Nurses are just taking a easy day. We were overwhelmed yesterday with the response. I just want to know why Urgent Care doesn't want me to document. They're lying on the news about being overwhelmed with lines and testing all these people. They're taking state money and they're not testing anyone. They're taking our money. Look at that line, officer. Did you see that line? So are these the overwhelming lines that you guys have been lying to the people of Hawaii about? I'm a journalist and this is going to be a column and it's going to be read nationally about how you're lying, that there are massive lines they never said there were massive that you're doing. We were overwhelmed yesterday with the response. You tested 25 people here yesterday? You said that. You didn't test 25 people. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I got nobody going in. Are you the CEO of Urgent Care? Wow, you must be upset. So it seems like people all over the world are sick of lies in the media, so sick of it, that they've decided to do something about it. They're on the scene doing the work that the now so-called approved news outlets should be doing. I myself went to go pick up some food at a local restaurant to help those guys afloat during this unprecedented attack on our small businesses. And the CFO of our local hospital happened to be there as well. And she said that the hospitals were not only completely dead, but that they were, quote, burning through cash like mad, 
end quote. So part of the reason that the hospitals are empty is because they've canceled all the elective surgeries and things like that. They say, of course, to keep the huge influx of virus folks separated from the public, but uh, something's going on, folks, and it ain't a virus. As you can see from this footage taken by one of my subscribers, by the way, who's an attorney, all over California and the greater L.A. area, which is meant to be more hard hit, right? First to be put on the lockdown. There's no long lines of people dealing with virus present. The parking lots are eerily empty. And I'd like to applaud all these folks with the ability to question what we're being told, who have yeah. enough desire for truth to get out and verify it for themselves. And you guys don't know anything about where the testing is being done? I haven't found a single place it'll test anybody. Uh, Do you know? Like yeah, they have lists and then when you go there they say no. While my inbox is a nightmare right now, so I want to ask, please don't send me more videos of this kind of thing with the hospitals unless you can also provide a link to a contradictory news report of the same location that is covering an event that you can disprove with your own on the scene footage. Now that I would like to get, but just random video footage of hospitals, I'm afraid that would overwhelm me a little bit. This guy here from Germany had the cojones. <laughs> he walked through the whole hospital to show the world. It is completely empty. And he did comment that the hospital workers were also very dubious about this whole theory as well. Das ist alles übertrieben und so. Das was in den Medien berichtet wird, das können Sie nicht nachvollziehen, dass sich das nicht deckt mit dem was hier tagtäglich passiert. Oh, and I thought this was really interesting. For those who don't already realize that there is a C O R O N A California and there is a Rona Regional Medical Center within it. And of the over a dozen hospitals this guy ran around diligently checking out, this one too had zero evidence of lines of people getting tested or evidence of chaos. But what it did have were big signs out front surrounded by orange that said, Hospital Disaster Drill in Progress. Drill, huh? Interesting. Thanks for watching, you guys. I love you, and we'll see you really, really soon. Toodles. Ha, ha, ha.